All right, what is going on guys? Uh, today, I'm gonna be making a video showing how to get perfect fitment. And I would say, I might know a thing or two about that. Really, it's not that hard. I feel like people think it's something like you get lucky with or like you have to like buy a bunch of different wheels to like figure out how to get like the best fitment for your car. But really, it's not all that hard. Everyone has access to the internet, so that's really the most useful tool you have. <laughs> but I'm gonna get into that later. So, first thing I'm gonna do is talk about what diameter wheel you want for your car. That's the first thing you look into when you're gonna buy new wheels, so let's just jump into that right now. First thing I'm gonna do is open up the internet, and I have an RSX, so I'm gonna type in RSX, and I'm just gonna look around on Google Images. Uh, so I'm looking around and I'm basically looking for something that I like. Already I'm kind of seeing, oh, this looks pretty good. You know, this guy's got a nice uh, fender to lip thing going on here. It's got nice spacing. There's a little too much rear camera for my liking. I've seen this car before. That looks really nice. Nice. Basically, my goal is to figure out what specs this guy is running. There's a great tool for this. I use Fitment Industries the most probably, just because you just simply type in your car, you click on something, go right to the link, and it'll tell you right here what size this guy is running for wheels, for tires, how much offset he has. It says right there, the offset. He's got 18 by 10 and a half. So already I know a lot of information about this guy's car. Back to wheel size. So uh, what I said, the first thing you decide is your wheel size. Basically, when you're looking around, if you like this track setup more, I believe these are these look like 17s. If you like this track stance more, you're probably gonna go with 17s. If you like something a lot more stancy, uh, something that just looks, you know, real nice when it's sitting. Go with some 18s probably. That's the two like main wheel sizes people run for RSXs. So that's gonna basically be your starting point. So I already know this, but this looks like kind of a similar offset to the green one I just saw. And as you can see here, it says these are 18 by nine and a half plus 22. So now I kind of have a general idea of the size wheels that I want for the car, okay? So I went ahead and I started doing some other research. So now I know what size I want. So if you have a wheel size in mind, like 18 by nine and a half, you then have to figure out, will it basically clear my inner fenders? Will I have to roll my fenders? Figure out that kind of stuff. So next thing I'm gonna do is look up if it fits, will it rub on the inside, will it rub on the outside? RSX 18 by 9.5. And now this is gonna be something where you're gonna look around basically on forums. Uh, something like this is perfect. 18 by nine fitment, will it fit? What amount of pull camber is needed? Well, this guy's asking the offset, how low are you? So basically one thing I've found is that on the inside, the 18 by nines, uh, they don't clear the, the uh, inside with a 45 offset. You're gonna need something lower. I think it was uh, probably about 30 millimeter offset um, that would clear the inside. And I did like a double check. You can see people running, you know, this is on Fitment Industries. There's a guy running 18 by nine and a half, 30s. When it comes to the outside, if you have anything that looks similar to this, where basically the wheels you're buying, if you see pictures online, and you see this guy doesn't have much camber, he has like one or two or whatever. And the wheel is poking out. You already know you're probably gonna have to roll your fenders. If you're going for really that super flush look or something that just pokes out further than the fenders, you're going to need to roll your fenders. You're going to need camber. That There's no, un, unless you wanna stay stock height, there's no way around that. That's that. Basically, I've got my, my width, my offset figured out, okay? I know what I, uh, people run, that works. I like the way it looks. Now, what do I do? 
next thing I do, I figure out what tires I want. So a great website for this is you go to tirestretch.com. This is the most useful website I have for finding out what tires look like on your car, what kind of stretch you're gonna have, what kind of look you're gonna have. So it basically starts off, you, uh, it asks you for the rim width, the tire width. Now I'm not gonna put in any tire stuff. I'm just gonna put in the wheels. You can skip these as well. So I just put in the wheels, 18 by nine and a half. Now you can see what people are running. You can see uh, this guy's got 215.35. That looks hella stretched. This is stuff, I don't know, really into that stuff. This is super stretched, super stretched. All these 225s are all super stretched. I didn't really want that look with my car. I wanted something like a 235 maybe, 245. Yeah, so this 235.40, this, I like this. That's a nice look. There's not really stretch. Um, and overall, I just thought it was pretty, pretty good looking uh, tire setup. So um, I knew, okay, now a 235, I know that looks good on a nine and a half. That's what I like. Uh, this is a 40 series aspect, aspect ratio. And that's gonna be the next thing I get into is choosing the aspect ratio for your tires. Um, so now I know what I want for width. So I know the rim width I want, I know the tire width, I know what they look like together. Now, how do you decide what aspect ratio for your, for your car, for your wheels, for your tires? You have to go back, search again. This is a lot of, like I said, this is just a lot of research. It's super easy once you figure it out, um, but it could be really stressful trying to decide, like if you're gonna drop $1,500 on a new set of wheels and you have no idea if they're gonna fit or not, all you can go off is the internet. Yeah, it's like really scary. But once you kind of know what you're doing and know what you're looking for, it's, you kind of start to get the vision of, oh, I want this, I want it to look like this. Things really just start to come together for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and search stock RSX wheel size. And this is gonna tell me what the diameter of the total diameter of the tire is going to be for the stock wheels, what the car was made for, okay? 215, 45, 17. That's all we need to know. Open up a new tab, go to tire diameter. This website, tiresize.com comparison. This is another website that I really love. That's gonna be our base size. That's gonna tell us what we're, what size we're kind of going for, what total diameter we're going for. And now you like the look of these 235-40-18s, so you type in, and then you hit compare. And you can immediately see that the 215-45 is much smaller in diameter, so you don't want the, the tire you're switching to to be bigger. That's the one thing you don't ever want when you're lowering your car doing anything like that because that means it's gonna be, there's gonna be less room inside the wheel well for you to lower your car so it's gonna be rubbing, you're gonna have issues. You don't want that. So what are your options? Well, you can type in the next size down. That would be a 35 aspect ratio. Now you can see it's slightly smaller, um, which is perfect. You're basically gonna want something that's close but not bigger. And basically you're gonna have to calculate on your own how much smaller of a diameter do you want to go because then it makes it easier to lower your car the smaller the diameter is but then it looks weird it makes your speedometer go off a little bit it makes driving on the highway be a little bit higher revs for you so that's kind of some factors so i usually go for stuff that's smaller and this is basically the size that i ended up buying for my car actually yeah so as you can see here that's the look i ended up with and that's how i decided it and that's really all there is to it i mean there is a lot of information but it's literally just searching it up on the internet, so it's not as bad as you would think. So that's really all there is to it. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe. I'm really close to hitting 1,000 subs, as you can even see here on my Instagram. I'm like really trying to get to it, and I've been really grinding. I've been posting weekly for like the longest time now. If you guys could subscribe or share this video or do whatever you want uh, to help me, that would be really appreciated. So if this video was helpful, 
Make sure to smash that like button. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye. Bye.